Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity in Quantum Mechanics. This is Lecture 15, uh, where we'll talk about the photoelectric effect. So the photoelectric effect um, is, in general, just uh, the phenomenon whereby uh, light, if light is shined on a piece of metal, um, then uh, electrons or charges can be ejected from that metal and in particular you could if that if that piece of metal is a part of a circuit so for example one of the electrodes a metal plate that's part of a circuit um, an electric circuit then um, the shining light on one of the electrodes can actually cause the uh, a, a current an electric current in the circuit even without um, the traditional um, battery or something that you need to drive current around in a circuit, okay, without a, without a voltage, okay, um, and so basically, uh, it's the phenomenon associated with shining light on a piece of metal, on metal, and uh, and the uh, resulting increase in the metal's conductivity, okay, electrical conductivity. So, just to give you a little bit more concrete picture, if we imagine that we have an electric circuit that's composed of just two plates, okay, two, two uh, metal plates, and we imagine that we connect these plates in a circuit. Okay, let's see if we can do that just a little bit nicer. Okay. All right, in a circuit. And then imagine that we shine um, light on one of the plates. All right. Then um, it turns out that what's observed is that a current can be made to flow in the circuit. Okay. Even though um, there's, there's no uh, voltage which is being applied. Okay. Now. It's not clear at this point why this is how this is important with respect to um, uh, sort of differentiating between uh, light as being a wave or uh, as being uh, clumps of energy called photons. This right, we're discussing the photoelectric effect in that context. Uh, we've we talked about um, uh, Compton scattering and we've talked about. Uh, Planck's law, black body radiation, which have which have indicated that that um, that photons seem to be come in. I mean that light seems to come in discrete uh, little bunches of energy, which we now call photons. But we uh, how, it's not clear how this how the photoelectric effect would uh, impact on that discussion because if we imagine that in that if if light were a wave. Okay, then we would describe it as uh, that wave as having some amplitude. Okay, the electric field of that wave as having some amplitude, and then maybe some sin some um, some sinusoidal varying function. Okay, and um, and the thing is that the intensity of that wave, or the energy that's associated with that wave, right, the energy per unit time, would would basically be uh, at least proportional to e sub zero squared sine squared k x minus omega t. Uh, that is, it's that it's proportional to the electric field squared, and over time. If you average this kind of function over time, then the sine squared um, basically just uh, just averages out to a particular value, a, a half or something, and so you get something which is again just proportional to the amplitude squared. And so, if this is the energy in in, in a classic wave, then we would expect that if you increase the intensity, if that if you increase the amplitude of the electric field, to so increase the intensity of the light, that it would carry more energy, and it would basically result in more more charges and a larger current. Okay, so that's the context that we want to start this discussion.